held them to 18 points in the fourth quarter. Was that your defense, or did they miss shots, or what did you think? No, our, our defense, I thought, got a lot better. You know, uh, got some stops and penetration, got some turnovers, and uh, got some rebounds, which are important. Was that a product of just the energy of uh, the you know, I think our, our, I think our group out there that start that uh, quarter, you know, a little more intensity or something came and, and met them with some intensity. We got tired, some of the guys got tired out there, the first unit, and uh, I thought it helped us a lot. And I thought our offense was aggressive. Shannon had 18 in that first half. Yeah, he was remarkable. He had a terrific half, helped keep us in the ball game, you know, when things were going great for us. You won two rings with him, so he's obviously been a good player. What's the biggest difference between Shannon this year and the past two years? Well, Shannon had a, a little hesitation about whether he should shoot or drive. And, you know, he's got so much confidence right now. You know, he's real comfortable, you know, taking the shot and, uh, you know, believes in it. And, you know, we're encouraging him to when it feels right to shoot that ball. Otherwise, he's got such a great drive, teams have to play back off him a little bit because of his speed. How did you kind of corral Rose there? He, I think he only had three in the fourth, and he had 27. Yeah, yeah, he had a great third quarter. Um, you know, some of that's a product of, you know, so much effort has to be put into trying to drive and penetrate, you know, from a distance. He was getting the ball over half court and trying to drive it from a distance. And, uh, you know, I think he's just a product just getting tired and he just had a short break and, and so he didn't play all the minutes of the fourth quarter and the other stuff is that they started to need three point you know shots at some point after that uh, four minutes when we 458 when we kind of opened the game up a little bit so you know then he had to be a feeder but you know, he showed us showed his style tonight is there anyone faster than him in the league yeah we don't we don't know who it is if you can Give me an idea. I, I know Rondo's awfully quick, and, and we know how quick he is, but this guy certainly has that matched. They ran him a lot of screen roll and also just a lot of isolation, break one on one stuff. What is harder or puts more pressure on a defense you know, when a guy can break his man down one on one for a or a Well, you know, that that is, you know, basically what everybody has to collapse and try and collect, and, you know, that makes it very difficult for the defense. Uh, especially when he breaks it back into the middle of the court, which he was doing. So why don't you go with the small lineup in the fourth quarter, Shannon, Blake, Barnes, Kobe? Well, we had some success with it the first half, and, uh, you know, I felt that, uh, you know, Lamar needed a rest. He played great for us tonight, but Lamar, you know, looked tired, wasn't running the court really well there for a while, and then we got some momentum with that group, and I just stayed with him. And, uh, you know, he did an adequate job on Gibson, uh, who had hurt us. Um, with Matt uh, playing it, and then they went small with Dang moving into that position. They made it easier. Did, did you see kind of like a growth type of win in terms of you know, not the best game for Gasol, the opposing superstars at the top of this game, kind of have guys plug in the gaps, and, and especially in the fourth quarter. Did, did you feel a little bit of that, of just being kind of uh, something going right, something good together for your team? Well, we, we anticipate it would be this type of game. We you know, told the team that they were going to make it difficult to get the ball into Powell. We were going to have to work to get that ball inside. And you know, for him, he was going to be facing a lot of physical play against him, so he was going to have to be, be able to withstand that. And you know, he had a real tough first half. But you know, we got things accomplished anyway, and you know, that's important. And uh, they put that kind of focus on. And the focus they put on Kobe double teaming, you know, we had to have other guys step up and score, and that's what they're going to try and make you do. And when you can do that, then you feel good about it as a team. What changes in terms of like the options of the offense when you're know, using Kobe like in a high post as opposed to trying to get the ball down the pal like you were early in the low post? Well, they chose to double team, and then it was just a matter of you know finding cutters, which Lamar was open a number of cuts, and uh, you know, or the three point shooter, which we you know made number of them tonight shot well enough to justify three-point shots. And then what, is, where, where, what does that leave for Powell in terms of opening him up against a guy like Noah? Well, that, that takes him out of the game a lot of times. You know, he's got to work the boards and he's got to, you know, he's occupying a guy so they're not going to leave him. So that puts a three-on-two matchup on the weak side. So that, that helps us. You said before the game you have a, an affinity for the Bulls and having played them, what's your take on those? 
they, they work hard. They look like their defense is, you know, they got an idea what they want to do defensively. Um, you know, so that that helps him. And, you know, with this kid pushing the ball and having the speed he's got, the Rose's you know, capabilities, you know, they've got a lot of things going for him. They didn't make a lot of outside shots tonight, but, you know, we know Kyle Corbin can hit some of those shots. And, you know, we anticipate when we see them in a couple of weeks, you know, they'll make some of those shots. It'll be a different, different, different game. To me, you have about eight guys that are, are playing well enough to warrant playing time and crunch time the last couple of minutes of the game. Is that a good problem to have? Yeah, it is. In fact, I, you know, thought about Fish, thought about Lamar, you know, a couple times uh, in that stretch where you know, we had a little bit of a lull there, and, uh, you know, between the three-minute mark and the about minute and a half mark. So, you yeah, know, those guys have done the job and, and needed to finish that game off. When you, when you guys had so many uh, games where the Stars were able to rest, how much do you see that as kind of like an investment in games like this where you Need all the energy. Well, you hope it is. You, have, you hope they have a. You know, we always say you can't store up energy. You just have to use it when you, know, right. you have it. Just don't think about it the other way. But you know, tonight we were able to sustain that. Powell was able to stand on that floor for 42 minutes, and that was important.